Welcome to another version of Doe's Fun with TAC Phones. In this episode, we'll discuss remoting a Vox radio using a transformer. This episode, we're going to talk about another method to remote a Vox radio. Previously, I did an episode where we actually remoted a Vox radio connecting it to a TA312 that was connected to another TA312. Then I went a step further and I actually did a remoting where we connected a 312 to a 2 wire to 4 wire hybrid converter, then connected the converter to the radio. And now I'm looking at the, another way of doing it using a, a actual audio transformer. And one of the reasons I did this is just a little bit more economical. Uh, the transformer that I'm using you can probably buy uh, from electronics online supply or perhaps even eBay, probably for less than $10. And it was also really easy to put together. You don't have to waste a, another TA312 to make it work on the other end, and you don't have to find a two-wire to four-wire hybrid converter. The converter itself is actually pretty small. Here's a picture of it. You can see right there it's got, uh, it's called four taps on it. That uh, These are the points where you connect wires to it. Here's the actual spec, sh spec sheet right there itself on uh, the unit. It gives some information, sizes, uh, shows the, the tap, the, how the transformer is designed, the tap points. It's made by a company called Triad, and it is a TY146P, a Tango Yankee 146P. Now, I tried some other transformers, and they did not work. So, so far, this is the only one that I know works. So that's why I went with this one. This is a quick this is a quick diagram of the unit right here, or excuse me, the transformer. And basically, it's two transformers in one. It's got uh, the windings in it. You can see it's got what's called eight tap points. It's got four on one side of the transformer and four on the other side of the transformer. Basically, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to connect audio to tap point five and six, say for the ear on uh, ear plug on the radio, and then the microphone to seven and eight. Then we're going to go to the other side of the transformer, and we're going to connect one of our two wires to a tap one, the other two wire to tap four, and we're going to put a little jump across taps two and three. Basically, what this did was it took and made an impedance matching transformer. So all these are now coupled together on the transformer. So basically, when we connected to taps five and six, that's a 150 ohm drop, which our earpiece or our speaker jack is connected to. And then the microphone is connected to tap seven and eight. Here's a little bit of a diagram of that, showing how it's set up right there. You can see where everything's wired in. You can see on the right-hand side of the transformer where we have the, the top two taps are connected to the tip and sleeve, or, which is the, the connector for the uh, earpiece or earplug. And then on the bottom two on the right-hand side, we have the microphone hooked up to the tap points. Notice I put in two 56K ohm resistors. And the reason I did that, because it was, uh, once again, having some problems with some overdriving. Um, this is not a high-fidelity stereo system, so I don't think I'm going to sit down and spend the time to figure out how to build a matching bypass filter or anything to cut it down. It's just uh, you use the two 56K ohm resistors. Uh, make sure you set your volume levels right and you can pretty much get away with the feedback and it works good. Then we move on to the other side of the transformer and you notice that we have the two tap points that are jumper together Then we have one of our two wires going to the top one and one of the two wires going to the bottom one. This is the 600 ohm side of it. This is the side that will connect to the field wire and basically to the field phone itself. Um, but I wanted to use this. This is basically how your home telephone works. It's got a two-wire to four-wire transformer in it that basically takes the two wires coming out of the wall plug and allows you to connect a handset and microphone to the unit on the other side, on the four-wire side. So this is basically how the transformer in your telephone works. We're just going to use it a little bit bigger and, and put a radio on the end of it. And like I said, these uh, TY146P transformers are very economical. Um, 
You can pretty much buy them at any electronic store online, so that's what I went with. Units used for modding radios, but in this application we're going to use them as a field phone, and also they're a lot cheaper than a field phone if you would want to purchase them to use instead of a, a 312. So I'm going to shut down and stop the video and go ahead and rewire to use the 433. Okay, I've got my C433 hooked up. Um, basically, like I said, it functions exactly like a TA312 does and is a possible alternative if you don't want to spend the money on a 312. And we'll go ahead and we'll do our first test. Test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Test out. Okay, we had good going that way. Test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Test one two three four five five four three two one. Test out. Okay, that was successful going that way. Uh, I sort of figured that would work. Next, we'll hook up the C four thirty four. Okay, I've got my C four thirty four wired up. Like I said, this functions as a TA three twelve. We'll talk to a TA three twelve. So we're going to try it out and see what happens. Test one two three. Test one two three four five five four three two one. Test one two three. Test one two three four five five four three two one. Test out. Test test. Okay, so just prove that would work. Now I'm going to get out a couple of the foreign field phones I have. Okay, next we're going to test uh, my Yugoslav M63 field phone and see if that will work with this transformer to remote a box radio. Test one two. Test one two three four five five four three two one. Test out. Test one two three four five five four three two one. Test one two three four five five four three two one. Test out. Okay, so that's good to know. The Yugoslav version works. I'm going to go ahead and switch it and bring in uh, my Polish version of a field phone. Okay, I have my Polish uh, TAJ43 field phone hooked up. We'll go ahead and try that. Test one two three. Whoa. Test one two three four five. Test one two three four five. A little bit of squealy there. Test one two three. Test one two three four five five four three two one. Test out. Okay, it goes to show the uh, the Polish model or version of a field phone works also. A little bit of squeal on that one, so you might have to watch the levels. I also tried a, a TA TA one A US field phone and. Uh, it didn't work, and I figured it probably wouldn't, and that's because it's sound powered. It just doesn't have enough power to push all the way through all these field wire and that. Um, but like I said, uh, I think this goes to prove that this little transformer right here uh, will allow you to interface a radio remotely over two wires using a one of the different field phones I showed you. Also, it's very economical. This is uh, probably about ten bucks. There's several companies you can buy it from online um, versus the cost of a TA312 field phone or uh, a two wire to four wire converter which are upwards of $250. I would probably take it and encase it in some kind of a uh, small project box, uh, put some binding posts, probably some jacks so you can pre-make the cables and plug it all in and I'd have this, this hodgepodge and uh, I think you'd have a really usable system. Um, if anybody has any questions please contact me in my email uh, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and uh, can put this to use using these, this transformer like